Welcome back guys, Rob Andalina from MyPPCTraining.com. In today's video, I'm gonna go through our audit checklist with you. Feel free to take this and use it as your own. Basically, what it does is <clears throat> allows you to go into any AdWords campaign and see what all the problems are that are going on and offer the client a solution on how to fix them. And you can use this as a template. So let's get right into it. <laughs> Okay guys, let's just get right into this audit checklist. Audits can be very powerful sales tools if you do them correctly and using this template I'm about to go through with you, you're gonna be able to go into any AdWords campaign you want and fill out this audit form showing the potential client or customer or whatever, whoever you're trying to impress, what's going wrong in the campaign and how to fix it and how you can fix it for them. So we're gonna go right into it, okay? Immediate recommendations is the first so right here in this column is where I'll just put things I noticed right away that are the most common AdWords mistakes. You know, are they not using negative keywords? What's the search impression share for the uh, the campaign or the ad groups? If it's really poor, it's because they're bidding really low. A bidding, ad group structure, location settings. I'll just list the most general mistakes that I that I commonly see here. And this is just kind of the I'll list them out in a couple of quick hit things. Next column is campaign settings. Very important. Location settings, ad schedule, are they using an ad schedule? If not, they should be. Device bidding, very important here. If you're increasing bids on your devices that are sending you leads at a, a great price and decreasing on devices where you're getting crushed, that's really important. And also, guys, make sure when you're doing these, when you're filling out this audit form, you're attaching screenshots of each one what you're talking about. So if I'm if I'm in location settings and I see in the in the campaign that the setting is set wrong. I'll take a screenshot and I'll drop the link right in this report too because people are visual learners and it's just easier for them to do that. So that's what I do for settings. Next, under campaign ad groups, I'll go down and I'll be like, listen, you only have one ad group and you have 500 keywords in it. That's You can't you can't have that. You need to, Here's what you need to do. You need to break out into different ad groups. You should have a minimum of 10, 15 ad groups, whatever you guys want to say, it's up to you. And um, here's how they should be structured and take a screenshot. Okay, that's really important. Campaign ads, do they have one ad or are they running two ads? Are they running 100 ads per ad group? It's important that they're not just running one ad. That's a lot a uh, common mistake we see is they're only running one ad. There's not split testing. There's nothing going on. So that's something to attach a screenshot. And be like, hey, listen, you got to fix this. You should be doing it this way. Next, campaign ad extensions. Most people don't even use these, which is insane to me because the more they basically add to your real estate on Google search page. So the more real estate you have, the more your ads going to stick out really important i run through in this under this column i run through all the different ad extensions and why they should be using them and how to use them take screenshots next campaign keywords what's the um what's the deal with their keywords are they using just broad match is it like i said is it 500 keywords they're all broad match in one ad group you got to go through the different match types with them make sure they understand why they need to use the match types that's important too and, and i usually throw a couple links under here to like google help articles that explain the different match types the key to the audit, guys, is that you want to, it sounds terrible, but it's true. You want to make it difficult for them to fix it themselves, so they hire you to fix it. That's pretty much how you want to do it. And if you're if you're not a, uh, a, a agency looking to, you know, get clients and you're, you actually want to fix your own campaign, then keep this in mind, too. You can use Google's help articles to learn all this stuff. Or you can go to our YouTube channel, which is probably going to be way easier for you to do. Other, other than that. Let's keep moving along. Under keyword bids, so we'll check out their bidding strategy. What's going on with that? Are they using auto bid? Are they doing it correctly? Are they using manual bid? Are they bidding too low and they're not getting any search impression share? Stuff like that we'll list out. Then we come down to negative keywords, which are really important, and most people don't even use them, and we explain how they work, why you need them, all that stuff. Next is call tracking. Are they even tracking phone calls that are coming from AdWords? If not, you got to plug that leak. It's really important that you track phone calls. That's how you optimize a campaign. You really can't you really can't fully optimize a campaign without tracking phone calls. Next is landing page. Are they using a landing page? Is the traffic going to a home page? If it's going to a home page, why are you not using a landing page? You got to create a funnel to put this traffic into that. Basically, when you create a landing page, you only want a few options for the traffic okay you want them to come to that landing page and either X out because it's not relevant to what they want 
pick up the phone and call you or become a form submission lead. That's it. That's all you want. You want to force them into three options. The problem is when you send traffic to a homepage, there's there's click leakage everywhere. They can go a million different pages and they'll get confused and lost sometimes and they'll just bail. That's why it's important to use a landing page. And then the last key part of the audit is list, relist the most important takeaways and just hit them with, with everything that's wrong. Everything that's wrong and and then list out below it how you're going to fix it. So that's really it, guys. Feel free to take this template, use it yourself, and um, it's really powerful. We've closed hundreds of thousands of dollars using this, this tiny, stupid template. I'm telling you, it really works. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. Give me a thumbs up if you can. Share this video. Check out the links in the description. I put some cool stuff in there for you, including a link to our Facebook group. I think you'll, um, I think you'll dig that. We drop a lot of content in there as well. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the group or in the next video. Uh.